guys, welcome to a brand new feature that I'm going to be doing for you guys. Uh, if it's not every week, it'll be every two weeks. Uh, we are calling this, uh, you may have known it as the D2 book review. Uh, and while it's still going to be featured on D2, of course, uh, we are rebranding this as the CTP book review. And there's a reason why, and I'll dive into it uh, in a second here. So, in a, in a nutshell, if you're brand new to my channel, this is uh, what I do. Uh, I, I try to, at least. Every week or every couple of weeks, I, I dive into a book, and I do a brief little review of it, uh, discuss some of the, the points, uh, that, that you know the highlights of the book, and just go over a, a book that I'm reading that's helping me with my business, my affiliate marketing journey, uh, my personal growth journey, my online entrepreneurial journey. Uh, just, just a way to kind of, you know, Bring books out more. I really do believe that books are a, a huge part of, of success online and success in anything that we're doing. Uh, so uh, we, we've been doing this on D2 for, for like over a year now. It's been a lot of fun, tons of fun for, for people and to interact and kind of talk books. But we're going to broaden the, the scope a bit more and we're going to focus on CTP because I want CTP members and people in the CTP community to really look at at uh, growing their their knowledge base through reading and books. So <clears throat> this is the first one of many, even though we've been doing them before as the DTube book review. This is the CTP book review, and it's not only on DTube, it's also going to be very much featured on uh, on YouTube as well. Uh, and maybe even we'll stick it into CTP training. I'm not sure how that'll go yet. But anyways, enough of that. That was uh, the introduction of what we're doing. And uh, as you know, if you know me, I'm a huge fan of reading. Uh, I have thousands of books. I've read, you know, a whole bunch of them over my career. Uh, and I just, I think it's a great way to build your knowledge base and skill set when it comes to business. So this is a book I picked up about a week and a half ago. Uh, and, and it just, it was, it was super simple, a big yellow uh, cover on it. Uh, big bold letters, and it just grabbed my attention. It was uh, by Damian Mason called Do Business Better. Now, this should really tell you what kind of book this is going to be because the uh, the foreword was by Larry Wingnut. And if you know Larry Wingnut, you know he's no holds barred, uh, an author that tells it like it is. So I knew what I was getting into when I saw this. First of all, I love the simplicity of it, okay? Do business better. It could have been some, you know, five top secrets to building your business. This was to the point. This was great. So the fact that it was do business better, simple, straightforward, traits, habits, and actions to help you succeed, it really hit me. And then I see that Larry Wingett did the uh, forward. I was like, okay, I know I'm going to be in for a treat. This is going to be not very politically correct. It's going to hurt some feelings, but it's going to help. And that's exactly what this book is. Uh, Damian Mason, I was not aware of him as an author. Uh, he was actually a stand-up comedian. Uh, also an actor. He was he was in a, a couple of movies. Uh, but then I thought this was interesting. At the end, like kind of in the jacket of the book, it says, While he's not traveling for work, Damian can be found on his Indiana farm with his wife. Um, escaping winters in their Arizona residence. He loves the outdoors. His wife, his dog, his beer, and his independence. He, he's a farmer. <laughs> I mean, basically, in a nutshell, the guy's a farmer. So hard work is obviously ingrained to in him. And that's what this book uh, this book really was. It was it was a, a hardworking book. What was really cool is that a lot of... Uh, a lot of the chapters had little pieces where you could fill it in. So I had my pen with me and I was writing down notes. Uh, it was a very, uh, not just theory, but there was a lot of action involved in it. So not only did you read the book, but you also took action uh, on it. It was split up into three sections. And I'm just going to make sure I, I read them to you properly. Uh, the first section was about the, the different traits that you need. Uh, risk tolerance, drive, resilience, vision. The second, ha uh, the second section was habits. Um, you know, setting up positive habits, being relevant, being critical, be a promoter, know your position, stop making excuses. All these were different chapters. And then finally, uh, in section three was the action. So putting it all together, putting the traits, uh, as well as, uh, everything that you're learning with the habits and putting it all together and taking action on this stuff. And that's really what this book was. How do I say it? Like you read this and if you've been in business and he even mentioned it in the book, it's not like this stuff is going to be like rocket science, right? It's not, it's not like you're going to read this and go, 
man, I should really learn about fi uh, my finances a little bit more. Or, man, I should, you know, really, you know, stop complaining and stop making excuses. I should pretty, put the axe to the grindstone and actually do stuff. None of this stuff was, uh, you know, you read it and you're like, oh, I've never heard it before. But the way that Damien, the author, put it was that there was there was no barriers. Um, I loved some of the, a, a lot of quotes. I was, I, I was using my Evernote app and I was taking pictures of all the different quotes and stuff. One of the biggest quotes he had, what I thought was mind blowing, he, he's like, every dollar you're going to make in life belongs to someone else right now. I mean, that, that's just cool to me. That's cool to think like every single bit of money that I'm going to make in my lifetime, someone else has it now. And it's my job as an entrepreneur to deliver enough value and, and, and enough um, uh, service and products where that person feels the need to exchange that money to me for that, for me to give them that thing of value. A really cool way of looking at it, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's a little scary. <laughs> you got to go and get everybody else's money. Um, but it's, uh, it was, it was a cool quote. And there was this, the book was jam packed with tons of these little, uh, quotes and action steps. And, and it was, it was really like, a, it was like a, like, I'm not going to say it was a college course, but there was a lot of activity that you had to do while reading the book there was a lot of self-reflection you had to do uh especially there was a there was an entire chapter about you know naming the people that are like holding you back like who is holding you back and then at the end of it he's like go rip it up because it's not people that are holding you back you're kind of holding yourself back really cool stuff but he talked about you know like energy vampires that's a that's a john gordon thing uh but uh just uh people that are sucking you dry and and how to f actually fire your customers which was crazy but Again, this was a book that didn't have the fluff. There was no warm and fuzzy, like you're reading this and you're like, oh, I'm so inspired. No, it was like gut check time. It was kind of like, damn, I'm screwing up or damn, I can get better. Uh, and that's what this book was. It really was do business better. That's, that's why I was attracted to it. And, and I, I really enjoyed it. The book's only about 220 pages, give or take. Uh, really easy to read. The chapters are super short, five to seven pages each. Uh, you can get through this book. He even said it in the introduction. He's even like, listen, I know your time is valuable. That's why I wrote a book that you can basically sit down and read in a few hours. And he's not lying. You could really get through this book, even though it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, 220 pages. It's, it's structured that you can get through it pretty easily. So an amazing book. Uh, I think something we can all learn from, right? Do business better. I mean, as straightforward as that as that is but traits habits and actions to help you succeed those are the three sections right there should have just looked at the front page instead of diving through the uh, uh the table of contents but yeah really really cool book um i i really enjoyed it again it's not you're not going to read it and go like oh man this is stuff i've never heard before but it is going to be like oh man no one has said it to me like this before and i think that's what the pull of this book is so I'm really glad that I, I got to read it, uh, and uh, I know it will help us all do business better if we take action on, on the stuff that is recommended in here to do. So, hope you guys uh, uh, get a chance to read it. Let me know uh, what kind of business books have helped you uh, do better, do business better, what has helped you along your journey. I'd love to get some awesome recommendations uh, from you guys, and, and the CTP book review is going to be uh, books that I'm reading that I know can help you guys. And, and it's, and this is fine and dandy. All the information in the world is great, but action, we have to take the action each and every day, uh, to make this reality. So, you know, let's not just be book smart. Let's just get action smart. Let's go out there and do some stuff. So hope you guys get a chance to read it. I do recommend it. Do business better by Damian Mason. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, I look forward to reading your comments and seeing what your nose is into right now. What are you reading? Uh, and uh, what do you think can help us all do business better? Toodles.